Well, good morning. My name is Royal. I am on my back porch in Hearst, Texas. I'm here to do my morning devotional and have my cup of coffee. I hope you're here to join me. This video is for Thursday, Thursday, March the 2nd. And um, we've been talking this week about being a peacemaker and being at peace with God and making peace with other people. And and, uh, and I don't know about you, but uh, sometimes when I get into a conflict, it really, uh, I'm 57 now, so I do it better than I used to, but I tend to get nervous and anxious and angry when, uh, when I uh, have conflict with people. That just happens automatically. It could be just somebody criticizing me, but, but I've learned to change that. And, and uh, I don't always do it well, but, uh, but that's the way to have peace. And that's the way to be able to make peace with other people. When you have somebody that you are not getting along with, um, you have to take the responsibility to fix that the best you can. You can't always, but, but you try. So uh, that's the topic for today. And I'm in James 4, uh, verses 1 and 2. But let me just start us off with prayer this morning. Father God, we come to you this morning. And uh, may we keep you holy and serve you above all else. May you give us what we need to be who you want us to be. Father God, would you forgive us of our sins and point out the sins we need to be forgiven for? And Father, we will forgive those who hurt us instantly so that we're better and not bitter. Would you protect us from temptations and the negative influences in our life? And today, Lord, we will give you glory for everything that happens, the good and the bad. We thank you for that, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So. So the main reason we get angry at people, the main reason we fight with people is that we there's something that we want from them. We want respect, we want love, we want them to think that we're right, uh, we want them to feel good about us. Those are all things that just come with our selfish human nature that we have. So, so we have to learn, have you ever gone and try to make up with somebody, try to fix, uh, a relate, fix something, maybe say you were sorry or whatever and it turned into an argument well the reason is is as you started to go do what you thought you should do uh, you were waiting for a particular thing from that person and that person didn't respond the way you wanted and boom the th it turns into worse than it was in the first place well that's what James is talking about in this verse is in a, and, and, and what we have to learn to do is when we're gonna make up with somebody when we have somebody that there's a tension with, then we have to learn to, to pray in our hearts uh, for peace before we try to make peace. Does that make sense? So here's James 4, 1 and 2. He goes, what's causing the quarrels and the fights among you? He's, he's writing this to the Christian church of Jerusalem. Don't they come from the evil desires at war within you? Those evil desires are the selfishness. Those evil desires are I'm wanting certain things. You want what you don't have, so you scheme and kill to get it. You are jealous of what others have, but you can't get it. So you fight and wage war to take it away from them. Yet you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. You don't have that peace you don't have that confidence. You don't have that contentment. You don't, because you don't ask God for it. And that's really the key. If you want to deal with, if you want to deal with jealousy in your life and feeling like you're not measuring up and feeling sorry for yourself and all that, you make peace with God. It fixes it. The peace of God is the is the peace that gives you a peace that passes all understanding. And uh, and what makes life better, so you can be satisfied and comfortable, and and still work hard, but know when you don't measure up that that's okay. God's got something else planned, and He's going to use this thing that you think is a failure for a success to to take you to somewhere else. And anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Here's my prayer for that for today, dear Heavenly Father. Today I will get my peace from knowing how much you love me. Today I will get my peace from knowing how much you love me. me. Even when I don't behave in a righteous manner, you still love me. Your love and purpose for me gives me great value and allows me to better value others. I will be at peace with all by remaining at peace with you. In Jesus' name. 
that's my prayer for me today. That's my prayer for you. I would love to hear your comments and, and reply to those. I hope this is encouraging to you. Uh, this is Thursday. I will see you tomorrow, Friday, if the good Lord will and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God and love people, and you will change the world. And remember, it does start with you.